Hi dear friends, welcome back to our channel Anvine Kumar Basics of Physics. Dear students, in this video we are going to discuss about the one of the most important very short answer question in the chapter of system of particles and rotatory motion. Clear? That is derivation of relation between linear velocity and angular velocity. And simply the formation of question should be like this derive V is equals to R omega. That is the question we are going to discuss in this video. So children before going to start this video you have to observe and check the playlist of my channel. In my channel I am uploading all the important and short answers, very short answers and long answers of the intermediate first year, second year at the same time need and M set bits also. That's why you have to subscribe my channel and follow my channel and press the bell icon too. So children, the question should be like this for IP examinations. Define angular velocity and derive V is equals to R omega. Define angular velocity. Before going to know about the angular velocity, you have to know about the angular displacement. So children, we are using the words or terms like angular velocity, angular displacement and angular acceleration. These are all belongs to rotatory motion. And linear displacement, linear velocity, linear acceleration. They are belongs to translatory motion. Clear children. Manaki linear velocity, linear displacement, linear acceleration and now one day that we are explaining the motion along the straight line. When we are talking about the words like angular displacement, angular velocity and angular velocity, displacement like that or talk anything what may be. So that is what that is belongs to the angular acceleration and we are using one word angular that related to the rotatory motion. So children, first we have to know about the, what is angular displacement. The angular displacement of a body explain with respect to the one point, how much angle made by the point while it is in circular motion about center of the circle. That should be called angular displacement. So children, so general definition what it is linear displacement, it is the initial point and this is the final point. A straight line joining the initial point and final point it is what we call linear displacement. What we call linear displacement. A straight line joining the initial and final point. That should be what we call linear displacement. So now we can go for children, it is the one circle. We are taking this is the point. That point is here at a distance of R. Clear? That is more, nothing more it is radius of the circle. Here the body is rotating in the circular path. We are explaining the motion of the body with respect of this particle. Clear? And it is moving from position A to position B. Now here it is the here one more line we are drawn from A to B or some O to B. O to A is the one radius vector and O to B is the another radius vector. A is the initial position and B is the final position. Now AB is called here linear displacement. What is AB? AB is the linear displacement. And during that process, it will make some angle. That angle is here theta. That theta is called angular displacement. While a particle is moving from A to B, it can make some angle theta. The theta is what we call angular displacement. Clear? To understand that, here we have one definition is there. That is what angular displacement of a body is the angle through which a point revolves around a center. One point is the Maniki circle remember travel chesu napudu adi center to compare chesu napudu yenta angle chesu ndo angle manayamandam angular displacement andamu 
and now we have in simple words the angular displacement should be written as like this the ratio of linear displacement to the radius the ratio of linear displacement to the radius that should be what we call angular displacement look at this diagram children here a is the starting position and b is the final position now a to b is the linear displacement that is what x and now here this is what radius vector and this also radius vector clear now what we are saying the angle is nothing but linear displacement by radius so it is simply also written as arc by radius arc by radius here angle displacement nothing but angle how much it is theta is equals to x by r here ab is the linear displacement that is nothing but what it is arc and this is what radius so the ratio of these two what we call theta so already we know that formula should be what it angle is equals to arc by radius like that here the angle is what it is angle is the angular displacement children so and now here the angular displacement is a vector angular displacement is the vector and that should be measured in terms of radians what is radians clear so what is unit of angular displacement radian and what it is it is a vector quantity and it is dimensionless quantity also dimensionless quantity also so this is the children simply about the angular displacement meeru four marks answer rasite appudu angular displacement gurinchi inda explain cheyalasina avasaram ledu direct em annadu define angular velocity and derive v is equals to r omega annadu that means what we have to define the angular velocity so let's go for that what is angular velocity the rate of change of angular displacement is called angular velocity angular velocity is a vector quantity that should be has same dimension formula as frequency the rate of in linear motion what we know the rate of change of displacement is called velocity now what you do say the rate of change of angular displacement oka body yokka angular displacement anedi time tho part vary avutunte adi em galigund antunnam angular velocity angular velocity can be shown with symbol omega and angular displacement is what theta then what to write omega is equals to theta by t clear children so this is simply about the angular velocity see definition once again angular velocity the rate of change of angular displacement is called angular velocity in form of in formula in form of formula what to write angular velocity is equals to angular displacement by time here angular velocity can be shown with omega and angular displacement is theta and time is t clear children then what you have to write omega is equals to delta theta by delta t also we can write and angular velocity is a vector and units are what radian per second already we discussed just now theta is what angular displacement its unit is what radian and that's why theta by t t means what time that is what second radian per second and dimensional formula is what children m to four of zero l to four of zero t to four of minus one the same dimensional formula is for frequency frequency and dimension angular velocity both are having same dimensional formula and now children instantaneous velocity angular velocity can be shown by the formula like this limit delta t tends to zero delta theta by delta d is equals to del d theta by dt this is the equation for instantaneous angular velocity so now we discussed what is angular velocity and what is angular displacement now we have to derive the relation between linear velocity and angular velocity let's go for that children now we have to go for the derivation v is equals to r omega children to understand that i am drawing the same diagram here this is the one circular path 
clear this is the one particle one particle at the time t is equals to 0 clear and after some time t1 that should be here clear when time t is equals to 0 at this position when time is t1 at this position clear now here the displacement travel is nothing but here that is x1 this is what x1 and the angular displacement is given by what it is theta this is the angular displacement that is what i am going to say theta 1 clear after some time t2 after some time t2 that should be here and now here we have to draw the radius vector in this case the displacement is nothing but here theta 2 clear watch very carefully children if you can understand the diagram you can easily derive the derivation clear when it is at the time t is equals to 0 here the position of the particle is here after some time t1 it is here now in this case the angular displacement is theta 1 and linear displacement is x1 after some time t2 here the angular displacement is theta 2 and linear displacement is x2 clear so this is x1 and this is x2 here theta 1 and this is theta 2 now this is the theta 1 and this is theta 2 now this one is the delta theta clear so here to here it is x1 and here to here it is x2 clear time t is equal to 0 to t2 that is x2 and here to here it is x1 now this is the delta x or it is delta x very simple children so this is the starting point and this is the next point now what it is i am saying theta 1 in this case displacement is what x1 and after some time it is here now the angle is theta 2 and uh, displacement is x2 displacement is x2 now this is the angular displacement delta theta and that should be written as delta theta is equals to nothing but theta 2 minus theta 1 theta 2 minus theta 1 and in the same manner here linear displacement linear displacement what you write delta x that is what x2 minus x1 x2 minus x1 the same thing will be explained here so very simple here in the diagram delta theta is the angular displacement and delta x is the linear displacement children clear now he can go for here simply this is the point p or anything water may be the particle is started from its motion at this point and the time t is equals to 0 and now here after some time this person is what x1 and after some time what it is x2 now x2 and this is x1 and this one is what x2 minus x1 that is the delta x and here for the starting condition theta 1 and this is theta 2 and now difference is what delta theta so children already what we know angular displacement is equals to angular displacement is equals to what you write arc by radius arc by radius so arc is nothing but what it is children linear displacement linear displacement by radius and now we have to take in the particle is moving along the circular path of radius r radius r then obviously what you write here linear angular displacement is what delta theta and linear displacement is what delta x by radius r clear then what write right? delta x is equals to r into delta theta we can write so after that we have to write like this 
limit delta x tends to 0 or delta t tends to 0 delta x by delta t and r is the constant there is no variation of its value then what right limit t tends to 0 delta theta by delta t so here delta x by delta t is nothing but change in displacement by time what is linear velocity linear velocity simply this will use the linear velocity v and will use the r into this is what delta theta by delta t already we discussed rate of change of angular displacement is what we call angular velocity and rate of change of displacement already called linear velocity so now children simply what you know v is equals to r omega children so this is the derivation very simple children what do you understand from that here simply one particle point pd is a particle that should be moves along the circular path radius r manam em antunnam starting the time t is equals to 0 antunnam appudu dani oka position ikkada chupisthunnam time t1 ayinaapudu x1 dani vachesindi so ee point ki vachesindi vachinaapudu appudu displacement em annanu linear displacement x1 annanu appudu dani oka angular displacement theta1 antunnanu adhe vidhanga Time t2 is equal to 0 to 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 t2 is and x2 minus x1 is what? Linear displacement. And now, in the way, we have a formula. The end of formula, angular displacement is equal to arc by radius. And that is equal to linear displacement by radius. And now, in the way, the angular displacement is equal to delta theta. And now, arc is equal to delta x. And now, radius is equal to r. And now, the answer is delta x is equal to r into delta theta. And now, in the way, मनम लिमिट अप्लाई चेसुना चेसिन तरवाता डेल्टा एक्स बाय डेल्टा टी एंडे वी एंड नाम डेल्टा थीटा बाय डेल्टा टी एंडे ओमेगा एंड नाम एंगलर वेलोसिटी एंड नाम सो अपुरो वी सी कोस टू आर ओमेगा दिस इज़ द मन गालस ने ट्वेंटी डेरिवेशन दिस इज़ द रिक्वायर्ड डेरिवेशन बिटवीन व्हाट इज़ so children, maximum information is shown. Don't know me. Any this is raya lo, any raya lo. Tell us please. Sir, put me. Manik four marks exactly IP lo raya lente. Angular displacement lo kunchi explain share social nedu. Angular velocity definition rasi. Derivation rasi the manik full marks four marks. Ochesta. I diagram compulsory ko ondo ni. Ani ko one mark ondo ni. Ada bhatna. Dear students, e topic me kadda maite. E concept me kadda maite. Like, share, comment the video. And subscribe and support my channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye. Take care.